I'm back with Kamala Devi and Michael and Jen and Tall. They all live together, sleep together, and star together in Showtime's new reality series, Polly Amory Married and Dating. My Loveline co-host, Simone Bian, has been listening to our conversation in an isolated booth. Simone, what are your thoughts? Having it all is a slogan that proved to be dead back in the 90s. And I have got to say, these are gorgeous couples and fair respect to them for making this work for now. I speak from having clinically worked with many polyamorous couples and my experience is twofold. Number one, they come to me because they have a feeling that actually they've been working with two unsatisfactory relationships instead of one. And secondly, there have been factors that drive them to having the polyamorous relationship so that they almost feel it's too dangerous to put love into just one person. Because when we do that, that is what makes us super vulnerable. So it's kind of like having this security blanket. And for them, it has been experience in their childhood where they've lost a parent and they found it really difficult to process or their parents are split up. So if it works, great. For now, my experience is that it can lead to an awful lot of heartache. And when there are kids involved, I think, ay, ay, ay. Jen, Jen, what do you say to that? You were listening very carefully and having a little <laughs> bit of a reaction. Go ahead. I think the part I reacted to was her saying it works for now. Um, you know, we've gone into this very consciously. Tal and I have talked about it for a long time, and it's... It is working for now, but there are also marriages that, even if they're not polyamorous, are just working for now. Yeah, we we have a lot of communication going on, and and we honor each other's feelings. Kamal Devi? So, yeah. I respect what Simone's saying, and I'm a sex and relationship coach who works with a lot of people, and it's not an easy path, and it does not work for everybody. But I will say that when I've been doing it for 15 years, never had role models, so I didn't know how it was done. It's such an honor now to actually get to share here's what makes it work, and here's what's working for us. And Call, okay, callers, David in California. David? Hi there, Dr. Drew. You know what? This is more desensitivity and more demoralization for children to view and witness today, and that's why a lot of our children are desensitized. They're getting demoralized because there's more and more shows and things like this that are causing this kind of thinking. David, do, okay David, hold on. Do this. Hold on. Do you, do you have kids yourself? Yes, I do. Do you watch the programming with kids? You, do you process it with them? I try to. I, he's not allowed to watch Family Guy. <laughs> okay? I mean, it's, it's you know, with w women uh, messing with, you know, I, I know it's cartoons, but at 7 o'clock in the evening watching a human girl 